Good evening. My name's Brother Tommy at Cherry Grove Baptist Church. I'm delighted to be with you this afternoon. I want to introduce you to the prayer shed. The prayer shed is a building outside the church here at Cherry Grove, and this is what it is. We want to have an emphasis on prayer. We want God's people to be a praying people at Cherry Grove. Now, I want you to notice here. We have 12 prayer stations out here that you can come and have an experience in the area of prayer. And I'm telling you, it will change your life. It will be an experience like none other. You will meet with God and God will change your life. And God will do things in your prayers that you haven't seen before. We have taken this outline of the prayer shed from Dick Eastman's book, the hour that changes the world. Notice here at prayer station number one, the subject matter is praise, and each prayer station will have a subject matter of things that God wants us to talk to him about. Praise is recognizing God's nature. The Bible says God inhabits the praise of his people. Notice in Psalm 63, and verse 3, because thy loving kindness is better than life, I will praise thee. Now, when you stop here and sit or stand, whatever you would like, at prayer station 1, and you begin to praise God for his nature, his character, his attributes, your heart will be so encouraged by who God is. And as you come through the prayer shed and there's 12 praying stations you know jesus challenged us can ye not pray one hour if you spent five minutes on each prayer station you'd be here an hour but we're not going to hold things to that you may want to spend a little more time on one than the other you just feel the freedom to come here and pray and there's opportunities to go online and sign up uh, on Facebook at Cherry Grove site. Also, by email and text, you can sign up. If nothing else, you can call the church and sign up there. Notice prayer station number two is waiting, acknowledging God's presence and surrendering Him. Right here, you want to practice God's presence in a big way. You want to wait on Him. Tune your ears up to listen to Him. God is already at work under this prayer shed in people's lives. I've been hearing people give testimony. They say it's like a sanctuary. It's so glorious and it's so wonderful to be out in the, the, the country area, out under the shed, all alone and hearing from God. God will speak to you and God will work in your life in a big way. Come with me to prayer station number three. Prayer station number three is about confession admitting my sin the bible says if we confess our sins uh he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness as we begin to think about our hearts and our lives and really get things right with god and get in line with god and walk with him in loving fellowship he cleanses he removes those barriers in our life that are uh, barriers of prayer. Now as you dwell here at the stations and look at the scriptures, ponder them, meditate upon them, God will speak to you and God will do amazing things. He'll bring things to your mind to pray about like you've never seen before. The Bible says, call on the name of the Lord and I'll show you great and mighty things you know not, Jeremiah 33, 3. I challenge you, take the prayer shed challenge. Come on out, sign up and be a part of this. Station number four is scripture praying, making scripture personal. Take some verses and apply them to your heart and pray them back to God. You can't go wrong when you pray scriptures. You can't go wrong when you find those prayers in the Bible and make them yours and begin to pray scripture back to God. Notice prayer station five. It's about watching, being alert and present. Continue in prayer, the Apostle Paul said in Colossians 4 and verse 2, and watch in the same with thanksgiving. We need to be a people 
that are watching for the Lord, watching for His presence, and watching what He wants to give us in the Christian life, in the kingdom of God. Prayer station number six. It's intercession. Praying for others. We need to be about this business of praying for others. At the bottom of the prayer station card here, there is a challenge to pray for three lost friends. Now, you can pray for more than just lost people, but we do need to pray for our lost friends. So, be about the business of intercession. Now, we move to prayer station number seven, which is partition, sharing personal needs. Here, we bring our needs before God our personal needs, our family needs, and so forth and so on. Take the opportunity. God answers prayer. Lift your voice to God and pray to Him. As we move to prayer station number eight, it is the subject of thanksgiving. We need to be a people that are so saturated with thanksgiving to God. And I'll tell you why. Because God is working mightily and doing acts of kindness things for us all the time. So we need to be expressing that thanks back to God. Moving on to prayer station nine, the subject is singing, worshiping in song. The Bible is full of verses, especially in the Psalms, about people singing to the Lord. I love to sing to the Lord. Notice at the bottom of this card, Sing your favorite song to God. You've probably got some great Christian hymns, great Christian songs that really speak to your heart that you've used in the past. Take the time to just sit here in God's presence alone and worship and sing to Him. Notice we move to prayer station 10. It's about meditation. To think over godly things, godly truth, godly works, godly activities. This is what we need to give our mind to here, to be thinking about things of God and meditating on those. God gives us insight when we do. God gives us blessed memories, answers to prayer that we have forgotten about. Moving on to prayer station number 11, the subject is listening. Tuning out all things for God's voice. There's many voices in our heads this day and time. People can't get still. They, they can't cut the TV off. They can't cut the cell phone off. So then there's voices going on of things we're thinking about. Here at this station, let's focus in and listen to the words, the voice of Almighty God. I'm telling you, this prayer shed experience will change your life. God is faithful. He answers our prayers. The Bible says draw near to God and God will draw near to you. Notice the last prayer station. It is praise. We began at prayer station one, which is praise, and we end at prayer station 12, which is praise. Giving God glory for who he is. I'm so thankful for God and who He is. He is our faithful Creator, Lord and Savior, and very best friend. You come on out and take advantage of the prayer shed. It will change your life. Sign up on Facebook. Call the church. Look at the other media outlets. And let's get about this business right in the middle of this pandemic. Praying to God and beseeching our God, and He will be faithful and answer our prayers. Thank you. You have a good day.